Morning, fellas. First up, I just want to thank everyone who watched and shared the first video that I made on Neo San and Phoenix. I really appreciate all the comments and suggestions. It was very, very encouraging. Speaking of suggestions, there were a couple of you who asked me questions like, what's a zipper cut or what's an Iverson cut? So I figured for today, I'm going to make a short explanation video on those concepts. So for all the coaches, players, and basketball enthusiasts out there, don't be afraid to ask questions. There's no such thing as a dumb question. If you ask all the coaches that I worked with, they'll tell you that I ask a million questions all the time. I mean, for me, that's the only way to get better. If you don't ask how or why things are the way they are, then how will you find out? How will you know, right? So don't be afraid to ask questions. There's nothing wrong with it. Alright, so for today's short explanation video, I'm just going to cover three concepts really briefly, which are the Iverson cut, the zipper action, and the diamond formation. Okay, let's start off with the Iverson cut. As you would expect, it's named after Allen Iverson. I guess they ran it a lot when he used to play for them. Starts off with the player on one wing, and then he'll cut to the other wing. And normally there are two screeners. So here they free up Don Kitch, bad defense by Westbrook. So, you know what, let's take a look at another clip. Here, Dallas initiates with the Iverson cut, and then they get into their pick and roll action. It's a nice way to move the defense before you get into your main attacking options. Okay, next up we have the zipper action, which starts with a Don screen for the guard. Okay, we're gonna take another look at that so you can see how it was set up. Okay. Uh, Milana has a lot of options on this. So there's the big guard sets his man up Comes back out for a high pick and roll. Actually, I don't know why it's called zipper. I should probably do some research Okay, last up Let's use a clip from the UP Maroons going from a floppy into a diamond. So why is it called a diamond? It's because it's actually shaped like a diamond and normally this is the typical setup with the bigs at the mid post area setting a down screen for the guard at the bottom and then the other guard goes opposite and they just play out of that okay i guess that wraps it up for today hope you guys learned something new if you guys have any other suggestions for whatever you guys want to ask or know about or something i can research and share Hit up the comment section. Alright, thanks guys. See you soon.